Welcome back everyone. Welcome back to Let's Play 911 Operator. Um, I think I figured out what's going on, why the game isn't giving me the option of uh, going, continuing to the next city. I read a little bit about it and I think this is in, well, we'll see if it's right, but in big part thanks to one of my um, subscribers slash viewers slash commenters. I can't remember your name, I'm so sorry, but uh, he provided, or, or she provided a link Hello? What the f***? Anyway, no idea what happened there. Uh, apparently it was still recording, but I lost all the sound in my headphones. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. Anyway, uh, the viewer provided a link to the Steam forums where they were talking about this very problem. And reading into it, apparently well, the problem is if you've played the game before like I have in Early Access um, and you've played some of the campaign, even though we start a new campaign, it has kept the cities I've unlocked before still unlocked. But it doesn't tell you that. Which is very weird. Anyway, to go to the next city, the game wants 190 reputation points, which we should get in about one, two, oh, hmm, probably two to three more duties in Albuquerque. So anyway, if we uh, meet, you know, uh, Walter White in the meantime, that's going to be quite amusing. If not, fine. Right, I'm going to get under the medic here, probably. Oh, darn, it was the guy that was, well, the kid that had 90 percent first aid so i need someone else with high first aid 91 that's even better there we go you go there and of course he took the equipment with him wait just the first aid where's the um where's the defibrillator that's odd there you go uh do others have that no they don't oh bloody hell did it start all over again I guess it did. Well, darn it. Okay, fine. So they get the defibrillators, and these guys only have pistols now. What is going on? These guys do have the technical tools, though. Yeah, they only have pistols now. That that that's bizarre. I don't know what's going on. Oh, there's no rifles available. Hmm. And of course, I would need to buy the uh, fire suits for the firemen. I guess I'll just, I'll have to do that. I won't do it for the technical truck because I'm low on money. So there we go. Uh, I'll give these guys the fire suits and then buy some shotguns, I guess. Damage 60. See, that doesn't tell me much. Damage 20, fire speed 1 a second. Da damage 60, fire speed 0.33. So basically, it does pretty much the same amount of DPS as the pistol. Because the pistol fires three times faster. But I don't know if this is better or not. Um, it doesn't really say. I don't know. It's kind of weird. Anyway. Um, or maybe they should just keep the pistols for now. And we'll see later. Let's start the deployment. See what happens. Alright. Let's uh, get everyone to where they need to be. <clears throat> get some ambulances around. And about. Hmm. Have we played in Albuquerque? Yes, we have, haven't we? Yeah. Alright, you can go there. Oh, we have some police vans, some motorcycles. Oh wait, that's the police car. I want the police van to be here. There's another police car. Another one, and another one. There. I think that's pretty good. And now, of course, the fire trucks. Technical truck will be here somewhere in the middle. There. All right, we can start the duty. I'm over game, over game point. What do we have? First incident already. Gangs are fighting using clubs. Uh, three possibly armed, uh, and of course need medical assistance. I'm going to send this guy over there, but I'm going to um, I'm going to have them wait for the police to arrive first. I might send another police car. Or actually. You go over there for backup. Because now we only have pistols instead of, you know, shotguns and rifles. Alright. 
Well, it's possible that the shotgun is better because it just, you know, does a one lump of 60 damage and thus incapacitates the target before they can fire back, perhaps. I don't know. Reporting. It's possible. So, these... Okay. Let's send him over there. Heading over there. 911, what's your emergency? Oh, they have to go around. There was an incident in my factory. Ooh! One of my employees got stabbed by a sharp tool. That's new. Cool. Uh... What's the address you're calling from? <laughs> what exactly happened to your employee? He fell off a ladder and stabbed himself with a knife while falling. Ouch. Are you endangered? Do you need police assistance? I would... Police? Uh, no. No. No police. We just need an ambulance. Yeah, I don't know why that's even... <laughs> I understood. I'll send an ambulance there. Okay. All right. What do we have there? Uh, chemical hazard. Spilled chemical substances reported. Might be a danger for traffic and people. All right, let's uh, get the technical truck over there. This there we go. Yep, back up. Oh, no, don't go already. Because they'll need... There you go. Go back. There's going to be more people needing uh, medical transport. Why is he going all the way around now? I guess that's a one-way? It doesn't look like it. Anyway, that's cool. We're getting new stuff now. I like that. Right away. Uh, medical stuff. Uh, a heart attack has been reported. Person requires immediate transport to hospital. Well, fortunately, this big van, uh, the ambulance van, is just as fast as these smaller ones, which doesn't make a lot of sense to me, but there you go. Excellent. Wait, injured and on board where? Oh yeah, down there. The guy that stabbed himself, unfortunately. A heart attack has been reported. Wait, another one? Yeah, another one. Well, this guy can pick up both of them, I guess. Uh, I don't really think that's... That's the standard way of doing things, but there you go. Yeah, they need to see more transport. Basically, are gonna fill up that van. So, good thing I sent it. 911, what's your emergency? Send people here, now! Oh. And <laughs> cool, this is new as well. Okay, sir, what happened? A plane has crashed into a house. Oh, bloody hell. Is anything on fire? There's some smoke coming out of the rooftop, but I can't see the flames. Can you tell if there's anyone inside the house? No. Uh, a woman ran outside. She, she said she was alone, and she's not injured. But I, I can tell she's in deep shock. What type of plane? A large one or a small one? A small one. Two-seater, I guess. Is there anyone else there who's injured? I think whoever was in the plane is dead, but I'm not sure. I can't see them. Uh. Okay, emergency services are on the way. They should be there soon. Hurry! That was cool. That's cool, that's the... Th Every call that we've gotten now was absolutely new. We've never heard it before. This is awesome. And also, I like the choice that we, we would have to tell, you know, we would tell him, go in there and see if you can do anything. Yeah, you don't want that. Uh, gangs are fighting using clubs. Again, jeez, okay, well, send more. Look at all my ambulances completely full and, um, busy. Well, let's send this guy and have him wait. Let's go over there. We'll need backup. Technical truck can come back, or actually, maybe they'll be faster. If if it's a large technical job, which it might be. Uh, so let's go. Where's the... Wait, why don't I have the icons? Why don't I have the icons for... For the various hospitals and such. Uh, I remember pressing alt or something, but nothing's nothing's working. Hmm. Oh well, it doesn't matter really. It's not really important in this game to know where they are. Uh, a woman's back has been stolen. Suspect is running. Right, we need a bike would be nice, but of course we'll need to transport him into custody, so I'm sending the car as well for now. That was cool. You already have backup. See, that was cool. Nine one one. What's your emergency? Hello. It's been a car crash. Ah, hello, car crash, old friend. Where did the collision happen? Around. 
All right. Are there any injuries? Yeah, two people with some injuries. Darn it. When did it happen? Well, just a moment ago. <clears throat> Are any of the vehicles blocking traffic? Yeah, both of them are completely destroyed. Do you know who caused the accident? The other driver. He's obviously drunk. All right, sir. Please wait for the emergency services to arrive. Okay, thank right. you. Send everything! So we've got a fire truck on the way, we've got a police uh, car on the way, we've got an ambulance. Reporting. Uh, let's send this guy into the middle. Doo -doo. Uh, a car has been stolen from a parking lot. Right, and it's running. Oh, these guys are still under fire. I'm listening. I'm listening. Heading over there. Uh, let's get you there for now. Because that is just a woman's pack. Okay, and the car will be there sooner. The uh, the bike can catch this guy over here. Of course, we'll, we'll need to uh, get him into custody as well. So what's going on here? Okay, they got a we got everything sorted here. Plane crash victim. Oh wow! See, he's dead. Oh. I've never seen this icon before. So, let's catch this guy. Murmur 7 hour? Let's get you here for now. There we go. They need more medical transport there. Jeez. 911, what's your emergency? <laughs> my car was stolen! Where did this happen? The car was in my parking lot near my apartment as usual. Uh. Sir, are you sure you didn't park your car in you know, a no parking zone or somebody's driveway or maybe a bus stop? I'm sure I didn't. It was a normal parking place. Okay, where? What's the address of where this happened, sir? It happened at... Maybe you left your car somewhere else, sir. No, I always park here. Okay. Sir, are you completely sure that your car is not in another parking space? Yes, yes, I'm 100% sure. Okay. Okay, I'll send an officer when I have one available. Thank you. I'll wait for them. Injured on board. All right. So we've got a twisted foot from falling on the stairs. We've got a... Um, Ambulance going there right now. These guys are done. These guys are still doing stuff. Wait, what's going on? This is all resolved. Oh, they need a police. Oh, of course. I thought they would. He lied. Uh, broken electrical lines reported. Might be a danger for people. Let's send the technical truck there. Because they're the closest. And also, I can send this fire truck back to its original position, so and so forth. So they're resolving that. These guys are done. Done? We're done when I say we're done. Anyone that's uh, watched Breaking Bad will probably get that. Right, you go back here, you go here. Heading over, heading over, heading over there. Uh, what do we have? A car was reported speeding. I don't have any bikes in the vicinity, so that's fine. They're all over there. 911, what's your emergency? There's a fire here. Fire here? Where are you, sir? In front of... So what's on fire? Oh, God. It's a garage. What kind of a garage is it? It's an underground garage. Okay, wow. Are there any cars near the fire? Yes, obviously. There are quite a few of them. All right, so how big is the fire? It's hard to tell. There, there's a lot of smoke. The no. fire department is on the way. Okay, goodbye. <laughs> Not urgent. Bye. <laughs> I need to play uh, one campaign just being a total ass and idiot to people. I want to see those responses like, Oh no, there's a huge earthquake. The city, the entire city has been engulfed in fire. Not an emergency. Call later. Do -do. It's always on the edges. A person has lost consciousness by unknown reasons. I like how that's worded. By unknown reasons. Kind of odd. But oh well. I'm not really going to be... I'm not really going to be... Um, 
you know, nitpicky. Um, I mean, I guess you could say that they should get an English speaker, a native English speaker, to uh, proofread the damn thing, but nah, it's not a huge deal. Nine one one, what's your emergency? Uh, yeah, hello. Um, there is a fight out in the street. Can you please send the police quickly? Yes, where? Where? Did you see if they had any weapons? Yes, they have knives. Can you give me a precise address of the incident? Yes, of course. It's at... Of course, it's on the edges. Is anybody injured? I don't think so. They've just started and they're mostly shouting and pushing each other. How many of them are there? Four men are fighting. Okay. Maybe it's possible to calm them down. Do you think you could do that, ma'am? Me? Uh, no, I'd rather not. Can't you just send the police here? Of course, your own safety is the most important. I'm sending emergency services there right now. Thank you. Bye. Okay, I've just, um, you know, I've used that, uh, answer just to see maybe she would say that, you know, they're her neighbors and she might try to talk them down or something, but of course if she doesn't know them, no, stay away. Uh, family argument broke out. Possible harassment, right. So let's send police there as well. I don't really know why I always either pause or um, slow down the time, but I kind of feel like, you know, I don't want to miss something or I don't want it to, uh, I don't want it to expire, you know, even though I don't think it probably would. Uh, you stay there, get some bikes over here, maybe. But yeah, stuff always seems to happen at the edges. Um, not a real huge deal, but hey, you can go back. Actually, hmm, it'll be faster. Uh, a person has been beaten by a group of thugs. I will probably need... Oh, so they're under fire now. Well, under knife attacks, I guess. Uh, well, we'll need an ambulance there as well now. Really? Ah, yeah, they're actually shooting now. Those guys are just... just have knives, jeez. A car accident occurred, the cause must be determined. Uh... Right, sending this guy, hopefully... Nobody needs to be arrested. 911, what's your emergency? Okay. Yeah, it's just someone... walking about. Hello, sir. We got a 911 call from your phone. Do you have an emergency? Uh, well, excuse me. It's my thought. I accidentally called 911. Sir, are you having an emergency? No, 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 I'm not. Please lock your phone and make sure you won't call 911 by accident again, okay? That way you won't take up an emergency line for more important calls. Uh, of course. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, Alright, so I'm going to ignore that one because otherwise we just get, um... You know, slapped on our wrist for sending resources or, well, units there when we shouldn't, apparently. Even though in reality, um, well, I guess, I mean, in reality, if that happened, yeah, I do agree. They wouldn't really, um, you know, send police to give you a ticket. Uh, they would send police if you were to harass the 911 call center um, on purpose then, of course, yes. They would not just call you back, they would get your position, wherever you are, uh, whether on a fixed line or, or a mobile phone, I believe they can also triangulate mobile phones, and uh, send police there to take care of it. And you can be in pretty big trouble. I actually uh, heard a call, uh, a recorded call like that, of some kids, um, you know, fooling about over here with, uh, with a 911 call center. Oh, they need more. Jeez. I think they only need two spaces, so I'm going to send that one. And yeah, that was quite funny. They thought they were being funny, you know, calling the 911 center. And then when the call, uh, when the 911 call center guy uh, actually called them back, they weren't aware. That was that was at the times when uh, when ISDN was only coming into play, for example. So nobody really had you know, mobile phones to start with um, that could show you the number of the caller or, f or you know, fixed line phones that could tell you the number uh, of the caller. 
But the 911 call centers already were on ISDN, and of course they did have the call number and all the data on the display. So you can imagine the the kids got so bloody scared on that uh, recording, absolutely horrified when the guy called them back. And he said that, you know, if they didn't stop fooling about, that he, he was sending the police over there. And they would, you know, they would talk to their mom and everything, and they would be in huge trouble. The kids started crying, begging to, not to do that. They were begging the guy. Um, it, was, it was kind of funny. Of course, you know, he didn't send the police there, but... Uh, it was kind of cool to hear that, because, you know, the kids deserved it. They were being stupid. But, uh, man. Right, so there we go. We just got plus, plus, plus. Uh, how much reputation? Oh, we've got 52 reputation for that. So, indeed, because we had 51 reputation to start with, uh, we just need one more duty and we can go to the next city. That's pretty good. And we made, ooh, 10,000 in salaries and we made 53,000 total profit. Excellent. All right. Uh, I might, well, I mean... Uh, they did okay with pistols. So let's see. Mm. Marksmanship 5174. I'll give the guys that have better marksmanship. Actually, it's a bit of a silly thing to do, isn't it? Give the guy with a better marksmanship a shotgun. <laughs> but I think the game doesn't really take that into account. So uh, uh, I guess it's only better if you give a better weapon with more damage to a guy with higher marksmanship. I don't know. But for now, I'll give him shotguns like this. There's no... There's no rifles to give him. So for now, we'll just equip him with shotguns, because there seems to be quite a bit of uh, stuff going on in these. Actually, you know what? For the van, which I use for more uh, crazy stuff, I'll give him all shotguns. Anyway, I really hope you're enjoying this series, just like always, and I will see you next time when we continue playing 911 Call Operator. Uh, let me know down in the comments below how you like the game and how you like everything, and um, check out my Patreon. I do have some rewards for Patreons as well. Thank you. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.